hello guys in this tutorial let's see all about Cauchy's integral theorem problems guys this is really a lengthy problem if you want I can solve it but it will the video will be crossing over 20 minutes guys because that's the reason why I'll be explaining you clearly if you have any doubts you can comment down below if you are not able to understand then I'll be posting a video don't worry guys for sure okay basically the question will be so clear that Verify Cauchy's integral theorem for f of z equal to 3z square plus iz minus 4 if c is a square which we should remember these words he may give a square, a triangle or a pentagon ok he will be giving any kinds of shapes to be clear guys ok and he gave the vertices as he will be giving the vertices as 1 plus or minus i comma minus 1 plus or minus i basically these are the vertices all the possible vertices we will be writing guys so it is nothing but 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so those are the four vertices of our square so i just took a small example of it so by taking the example of those values I have just tried to plot a graph guys so I have just got a graph like this I hope everyone is clear with the graph now so I have just labeled A, B, C, D as different different sides so I will be finding the values for individual sides and I will be adding them all up so that from the Cauchy's integral theorem states that integral f of z dz in a closed inter integral f of z dz is equals to 0 as we all know so by adding all them I should get 0 then all the process or the all the calculations that I have done are correct so now let us go through one path perfectly and the next path you should do I'll be just explaining you in terms of steps really really faster okay along the path ab ab is in between 1 comma 1 and minus 1 comma 1 here we are having constant value is y guys y equal to 1 here and y equal to 1 here so taking the constant value y is equals to 1 we can find its differentiation dy is equals to 0 so that x varies from 1 to minus 1 so I hope everyone remember the complex integrals part 1 the first video of this topic in which we have calculated the path okay this is same like that we will be converting the whole equation in terms of x or in terms of y so here in this I converted the whole equation in terms of x so now the limits I have just applied the limits and I further continued the problem and I done integration so I got the value 14 I hope everyone is clear now so along BC the points are minus 1 comma 1 and 2 minus 1 comma minus 1 here minus 1 is common in x so x equal to minus 1, dx equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 to minus 1. Right guys? So nextly, applying the integrate, apply writing the question down and converting all the values to in terms of y. So I have just changed in terms of y and I have apply, applied integration. So finally I got this value. Again cd, cd is in between minus 1 to minus 1 comma minus 1 to 1 comma minus 1. Here y is constant that is minus 1. So y is equal to 0, dy is equal to 0 and x is in between minus 1 to 1 those are the limits and I have changed all the terms in terms of x so I got this minus 10 so at last we have gone through the last side dA and we have just solved it again solved it again in the similar way the points are 1 comma minus 1 to 1 comma 1 where x is equals to 1 yeah it is constant and y varies from 1 to minus 1 okay so now I have just applied them I have just converted the whole problem in terms of y and I have substituted the values so I got this so at the end I have just added everything as that is nothing but in integral closed circle f of z dz is equal to integral over ab side bc side cd side and da side so everything cancelled and cancelled up and I got 0 hence this is the proof for the given question I hope everyone is clear with Cauchy's integral theorem now so in the next tutorial we will be saying about Cauchy's integral formula Thank you guys, thanks for watching.